I have found something for you guys that's pretty cool. And stay to the end of this video. I'm giving away five of these instant win. You can go and find out if you want immediately, but let's save that. A couple things we need to cover before. Multi-tools. It's taken me a long time to warm up to multi-tools, but I am on board. I get it. I have been regularly carrying one, or at least if not carrying it, having it close by. This is my first multi-tool, and this is an excellent one. This is the Leatherman Wave. The Leatherman Wave. Man, no one does multi-tools. Well, very few do multi-tools to the level of Leatherman. They are an excellent company. Great, great product. However, have issues with these things. There's just too many darn tools on them. They're just too complicated. I think, you know, when you sit around and as an engineer and you're thinking always about how can we add more and more and more and more, it gets to the point where it starts to get kind of silly. I mean, just for example, there are four, basically four blade type things on here. Okay, so I've got the knife, I've got the serrated knife, and then this side I've got, well, there's, we've got the saw and we've got the file. You know, why don't, I, I don't think I want all that stuff. I want three things on my multi-tool. I want pliers, I want a good knife, and I want a screwdriver, a Phillips regular screwdriver. That's it. That's really all I need. I just don't, I, I just don't need these things. I mean, you can always come up with scenarios and situations where, oh, you know what, save the day. But for day to day, if I'm going to carry it around, it's just, it's, it's too much. I would rather have you guys spend more time, I'm speaking to engineers here, making it smaller, lighter, stronger, cheaper, and better, and get rid of all the things that I don't need. For example, what is this? What is this thing right here? I mean, it's supposed to be a screwdriver. It's not a very good screwdriver. And and the other thing is you got all these little tools and these, like an eyeglass screwdriver. Never, I've never once used that in my entire life. Nor sit, and I don't, I, I just, I just don't, I don't want it. It's like having a flashlight with multi modes on it. I don't want that either. I want a flashlight that turns on. I want it to be as bright as it can be. That's it, period. That's all, that's all I want. And then you have all these things, and then when you get a little fish blood in there or, or a little bit of corrosion or dirt, then you break your fingernails off trying to get them open. I, I, I don't like it, and I don't like the two-hand opening. That, to me, is a hassle. Usually, you know, you're struggling under something. You need some pliers. It's going to save your life, and, and, and you know, you... You know, we've all been there, right? Okay, so those went away. Those got relegated to the tackle box, so I thought that I had found the holy grail of multi-tools. What's this? The Gerber Center Drive. One hand opening. Now that is the business, right? I love the one hand opening. That's what I, where I think that the Gerber has just kicks everyone's hind end or on the multi-tool is because of that feature to be able to open up one handed and they're springed. Of course, we got real wire cutters on there, you know, pliers with wire cutters. I mean, those two things go hand in hand. Really liked it and they kept it simple. So what do we have on the outside? We've got the two things that I wanted. We want a, We got a great big prominent, a proper blade, right? Proper blade there for cutting, a big blade. Look at the size of that blade. I, I, I like that blade, no nonsense. And on the other side, speaking to my heart, we've got a center drive screwdriver offset so you can drive, actually drive properly. That's a really, that's, that's a really a nice thing. You know, that, that's a really a simple tool, but not everything is perfect here. Gerber, how could you make pliers that don't close tight? Can you manage in that? That has been such an issue for me when I've wanted to hold little things, you know, because that's oftentimes when you pull out the Leatherman is when you need to have something, you know, hold on something that's really small or precise and pliers that don't close. I have never heard of that. Sorry about that. The card filled up. Where were we? So we so we have a few things in here that are handy. You know, they actually have a couple things in here that are really handy. This here, not so much. Some sort of a nail puller. File, of course. I like this, that pointy thing. Although I've never used it. Never use it. What have I used? What do I always use? I use the pliers, I use the screwdriver, and I use the knife. Okay? So this has... And so this has been a good, this is my favorite one, but these are expensive. These are all the expensive. I don't know what they are. What are they? $60, $70 or so? That's a lot of money for a multi-tool. So that brings us fast forward to the Amazon, the cheapest multi-tool. I, so I went searching and I was very, very pleasantly surprised to find 
that the really the the true the cheapest multi tool that was a real more kind of a traditional style multi tool was made by the Irwin company. I I love Irwin. Irwin has really stepped up their game. You know, in the poor man's toolkit that we did, a good portion of the tools were, were from the Irwin, and they were actually better than some of the ones I have in my own shop. I'm just a huge fan of Irwin. So I was very pleasantly surpri surprised to find out what was in here. You ready to see it? It's pretty cool. How about a set of Irwin Vice Grip Multi Tool? How about that, huh? How about a set of vice grips? I mean, is that not one of the most indispensable tools in your, in your repertoire? I mean, I, I've i got vice grips on every tool kit. I've got two pair in here. I've got them in my truck. I've got them in my drawer, my office. I use them all the time. When you really need to get a hold of something, right? You got to twist that broken nut or something like that. You know, what are you going to really get on it with, huh? Yeah, you can do more detail things here. But what happens if you need to do twisting? I mean, I've bent multi-tools from so the the thing is is that they're different tools they're not the same however 70 ish dollars right with a bunch of stuff on there you're never going to use versus 12 dollars 12 dollars for an Irwin, a brand we trust the vice grip brand the name brand the best ones there are you know even the snap-on truck i went to buy snap-on vice grips one time and i asked the guy i said well i want i want snap-on vice grips and do you know what he brought out he brought out the Irwin vice grip brand that's what they carry that's the best the best ones that they are and look at the nice knurled handle they put on there a little bit of an upgrade so what do we have here on the vice grip multi-tool well we have everything to make me happy we have a blade one hand opening blade and we have a screwdriver that's it that's all there is to it Flip it around, you've got your regular one. How about that for a multi-tool? $12 with a sheath and a belt loop? That sounds like a pretty good deal to me. So what do I think about the tool? How does it feel ergonomically? It's, it's excellent. You can really get, it's very smooth on the edges. The knife doesn't get in the way. I would say some of the weaknesses on this of of, are, of course, the knife. You know, that... <laughs> You know, it's it's all right, but you know if you have to cut through something, you know you, you're not going to be prepare, you know preparing food and doing things with this. This is you're going to cut a piece of rope, but it's a good knife and it's stainless steel. So at twelve dollars, you know you're going to something like this is going to find its way into a tackle box very likely, or maybe into your boat or your RV or your truck toolbox. So you're not going to you know it's just not going to be really. Um, a tool that's going to rust or it's going to it's going to be durable. We all know we've all got vice grips. I've got every pair that I've ever bought. I mean, they just they're a lifetime tool and I thought that this was really cool. One thing I I would like to see, you know, it's kind of disappointing that there's not a, the knife doesn't have a lock on it, right? There's no lock, but I can live with that. Granddad was good enough for granddad for 70 years, wasn't it? What makes us think that we need to have locking on everything? You know, but just man up and just just deal with it. And the screwdriver is excellent, actually. That comes out, and it's in a really heavy-duty type of a, of a aluminum steel. No, it looks like steel case. Looks like, yeah, it's, it's with a good hinge pin on there. So I, I feel it, you know, when I'm feeling, I feel like if I had a really tight screw, I could really get on that and uh, get after it and not have to, to worry about that breaking or bending. But all, all in all, I think it's $12 with a sheath, and you can put it in either way. So you can put it in this way, or you can put it in this way here, and I do like it. I do like it. How is it size-wise, you know? So here's, of course, we've got the sheath for the, the Gerber center drive. Still a great tool. You know, it's, it's bigger. It's certainly bigger. However, it's flatter. This will carry... I guarantee you from a guy who conceal carries, this will carry a whole lot better than this because I carry these. I carry these on my wildland packs and I try to carry them on day-to-day -day, uh, working and they catch on everything. So I just don't, I can't, I can't do it. It's too thick, it's too chunky. And you know, I mean, you, you can take the stuff out but it still sticks out there. Look how thick that is. It's really thick, it's twice as thick as this one. This one's gonna lay along the body a lot nicer. You're not gonna be bumping into it, bashing into things all the time and it's um, just, it's just it's gonna it's gonna carry better. So, and you know you guys know who you are. If you can, you know, vice grips are not for everything, but 
at the price point, if you don't have a multi-tool, I thought that that was a pretty good deal. These are, th the nice thing about it is I don't feel like the, the blade and the screwdriver option take away from the function of the tool. Let me explain. Here's a normal set of larger side, set of vice grips, but what I'm saying is that they don't really change the tool that much. It makes it a little bit thicker in the handle, but actually they've put a nice curve in there. Everything is smoothed and rounded. It's, there's no pinch points. It's not uncomfortable. It uh, doesn't feel a whole lot different. So you get, I don't know what a pair of vice grips like this costs, probably around the same price, $10, $12. You know, for, for, I think you're basically getting all that stuff for probably the same price if I had to guess. And it even gets more interesting. So let's say you're more of a fine detail type of guy, right? Well, check this out. There's two, the needle nose version. I have never had a set of these needle nose vice grips, but I have wanted them for little areas. I mean, sometimes this is what it takes to save the day. You gotta get down in there and hold that little thing and you get one chance at it. So you, get, you can have that option too. These are gonna be substantially well, you know, they're an inch, they're bigger. They're another inch bigger. They're not going to fit in this sheath, but you can get them with or without the sheath. The sheath is just going to be a little bit bigger. But what you get with these that you don't get with the other ones is you get a wire cutter. You see that right there? That's a wire cutter in there. And those actually are reasonably effective. I've used those, of course, you know, all, I've used them for cutting baling wire and things on the old tools. And I, I've had these things for years and years. I've never had a problem with them. But uh, that's an option too, right there. So that's kind of kind of cool there. So I thought that I'd share that with you. I thought for the $12 range, you know, that, that was the price when I checked it. It did come in at the lowest priced multi-tool, but that was pretty neat. Pretty neat. Here you can kind of see them kind of compared to the multi-tools that you all know and love, right? You know, size-wise there. But these are thinner. These are thinner. The, this is, the, the Leatherman, are, they're about the same. They're probably really comparable there as far as thickness goes. But um, yeah, what, 70, 60, 70, 12? Yeah, I, th I thought that those were cool. I, I was happy to come across them and I thought that would be the perfect thing to share with you guys on the cheapest, testing the cheapest Amazon tools because I, I really enjoy these. Okay, so would you like to win a pair? So I am not sponsored by Amazon. Uh, I buy all of this stuff with my own money. Um, I uh, am offering, or we are offering five, five of these. I picked up five of these. If you'd like to enter to win through Amazon, they'll ship directly to you. And again, we're not sponsored. We paid for them. It's just a thank you to subscribers. These videos do really well and we make enough money off of them that we can kick out a little bit to you guys, you know, and do some freebies and it's kind of fun. And I always appreciate that when creators do that. So if you'd like to win, you can have, uh, there's two ways to do it. Uh, just go to our Facebook page. You don't have to have a Facebook account. There'll be a link there right now. You go over there and you will um, follow the instructions or go to our, what is it? The other link, Instagram, our Instagram page. Both links will be down there in the subject as well as I'll pin them to the top of the comments. So you go over there, spin the wheel, you find out if you won immediately. So good luck on that. And I hope you win a pair. I think you'll like them because I do. I, I just think that they're just, Wonderful. Good job, Irwin. I, I am, I'm just becoming an becoming an Irwin fanboy. I, 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 what I'm seeing from their tools is just it's high dollar, or, or low dollar, high quality tools. Tools that that are super affordable, even surprisingly affordable sometimes. And I've yet to have anything from them that I've purchased in the last couple of years that I haven't been very happy with, very pleased with. It seems that. Um, what it seems to me is, you know, of course they're not Snap-on, they're not top of the line, but it seems to me that whoever it is that's running the company is wants to put out a good product. It's not all about just marketing. It seems to me anyway. I could be wrong, but um, the few things that I have purchased from them have been excellent. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. Good luck. I hope you win a set of these cool Erwin Vice Grip multi-tool plier combo whatever, and we'll see you guys on the next video.